Hello and welcome back to Norch Life. I have driven quite a few race cars, supercars and sports cars around here in the past, in the sim of course, but driving more, more timid road cars uh, around here ha has somewhat eluded me so far and that's something we're about to change uh, today. Um, well. Somewhat. Uh, in 1994, Audi and Porsche have joined up to create uh, something really special for us. Uh, they took an, uh, an Audi AT estate called the Avant, paired it up with a more powerful engine, gave it a bunch of other upgrades, and presented to the world the RS2, the very first RS model of the Audi. Uh, without the RS2, we wouldn't have this beast in front of us uh, uh, even in existence. And this is, of course, its uh, grandchild, the RS6, uh, powered by a 4-liter V8 engine, developing over 620 horsepower. But the tuners at ABT thought that this was not nearly enough, and they squeezed an additional 130 horsepower out of this engine for a grand total of 750 horsepower. Yes, uh, you heard that right, 750 in a car that's essentially a family estate. Uh, well, more or less it is, right? But uh, this is for when you need to get your kids to school yesterday, I guess. Uh, anyway, when the car was uh, released or announced, uh, many news articles uh, that uh, popped up dubbed it as the supercar killer. And I think it's time we test this claim and see just how fast can this 750 horsepower family car uh, run the lap around the Norch life. Right, here we are inside the Audi RS6 ABT. And as you can see from the inside, it looks pretty much like a regular family estate car. Sorry, I can't turn around too much because of this stupid brace. Uh, but anyway, Let's take this 750 horsepower beast around Norch Life. Let's see what kind of lap time we can produce. As we start the lap and up to 150, over 150 kilometers per hour actually. Before we have to brake for turn one. I expect a lot of understeer in this car. And yes, there it is. But thankfully we have... All the modern aids helping us get this behemoth around the track. We have ABS, we have traction control. We have the legendary Audi Quattro four-wheel drive system. And when I say behemoth, I do mean behemoth. This car weighs over 2000 kilograms, which translates really well into the sim. You really feel the weight of the car when you try to push it around the corner or when you try to convince it that it's time to stop like here from over 270 kilometers per hour to around 180 190 Ooh, a bit quick downshift and of course smart old me paired it with regular street tires so that the comparison to other supercars would be more realistic but this doesn't make it any less scary now, as we go 270 through Foxhole. Oh, how did I get this stopped? Somehow managed to stop it there. Don't know how though. This was insane. This was absolutely insane. Yeah, even though the car, well, it's essentially a race car inside the body of a family estate. Let's let's uh, be honest here. It has huge carbon brakes, but it's still 
a challenge to get it stopped and this is something you have to keep in mind all the time because you do need to start breaking earlier than you would with some lighter car and of course that fact is also helped with the amazing power that this engine produces because which means you also arrive at the corner with higher speed and yeah just getting the car turned in is also a chore which is a combination of its weight and the regular tires that I chose for it uh, almost didn't get it stopped here <laughs> But now the power takes over and it has no problem with pulling this beast up the hill. Oof. No way I'm going through this kink here flat. A little bit too much for courage corner back there but I want to survive this lap oh my word almost didn't stop here now for time for carousel and then for the trickier trickiest and most technical part of the track power no problem with any understeer or oversteer through here thanks to the electronics and four-wheel drive a little bit of understeer here and here we go time for the most fun part of Norch life starting with Hoa 8 My word. Just to get that weight around the corner truly is an undertaking. We approach YouTube corner. Let's not make a mistake here. Don't want to end up on YouTube. <laughs> Bit of a joke. Understeer all the way through. Ice curve. Oof. A bit too early on power, and I had to release the throttle. Otherwise, we would have understeered off the course. Now, jump at Planskarten. Release the throttle. I mean, the brake while in the air. And now, Stefan Bell of S. didn't dare to go flat but now we're flat Ooh, my word that uh, Schwabelschwanz is a little bit tricky it's a lot of understeer in this car and both corners are a little bit off camber and we're soon at the Dottinger Höhe, where we can open this bad boy up. All right, Whew. that was a workout. Let's see, 240, 270, up into seventh at 290, <laughs> yeah, 300 kilometers per hour. Oh boy. Soon at the Bilstein Bridge. 311 is the last number I saw. Oh, get it stopped. 
and we stopped. Somehow we stopped. And almost across the line. A little bit more understeer. And 7 minutes, 46. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a, it's a workout. It's a workout. It's a fun workout. Oh, the car is a mod. Link is in the description. I do recommend you to try it. It's uh, really fun to drive. Uh, 7.46 is our lap time. 7.46.8 to be more exact. Uh, of course, you will see the results table on the screen right now. I'm um, not really sure where this puts us. I think it's a little bit slower than the Ferrari F40. So, is it the supercar killer? I would say no. Not really, but uh, it's definitely in supercar territory in terms of its pace. It is, in the end, still a family car, a family estate. So, it does lug around a lot of weight but also a lot of power and it is insanely fun to drive so I do recommend get the mod or if you have the real car even better enjoy it of course and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed uh, this video leave it a like and uh, stick around for more of such content in the future thank you everyone and have a pleasant day bye bye